the only way to cut cloth in Blender that actually works. So we'll go ahead and add a plane. And then we can rotate this. Tap into edit mode, subdivide it. Select everything and subdivide it again. All right, so this number of faces are enough for what we want to do. So I can go into my edge select mode or vertex select mode and use the knife tool. So let's cut through this face from the top. Okay. So we have those edges selected. Go into your vertex and rip vertices. So then we want to select some edges here and here. Create a new vertex group and assign them. You want these weights to be on one. Give them a weight of one and then go select these faces press alt and keep your cursor close to the top edge and select and shift select the other one close to the top edge all right now we can assign that to so if we switch to object mode and switch to weight paint we can see that we created this weight paint okay now we assign the cloth physics and if you press play the cloth drops so we want to pin that group on that shape pin the group that we created and we have this all right now so we want a way to control the way that the cloth rips because if we go to edit mode let me assign a weight of zero to this okay if we go to object mode you see that the cloth falls apart so we want to be able to control this i'll go back to edit mode and assign it again give it a weight of one for those faces and you see that it holds now to control this we go here and add a face a cube you can create a cube there and then we want this cube to be to be as long as the cloth. Let's move this downward. Okay, that's looking good. Then for the cube, we go into the object, the viewport display. We can change it from display as texture to wire so I can see exactly what we are doing. Now select the cloth, go to your modifiers. We want to add a modifier this is a modifier that you're probably not used vertex weight proximity now for this to work you want this vertex weight proximity above the cloth unless whatever you do here it wouldn't affect the cloth so remember to take this vertex weight pro proximity you can select this and move to first select this arrow here move it to first now let's switch this to the weight paint mode so we can see what we are doing now for the target object obviously this cube object that we created and the vertex group the vertex group that we created and we'll come to the influence and change the max vertex group to also the vertex group that we created now for the proximity mode we are going to change from object to geometry and select face for the lowest can go for 0 0.1 and then all right if we are having some issues with this you can select this object ctrl a to apply all transforms then with the object selected set the origin to the center of mass of the surface and then select the cloth and go back to your weight paint mode all right so we have this working well now without the without all transforms apply for this you won't get the right weight paint all right so we can just take this down to 0 0.1 and 0 
perfect so all we have to do now is go back to object mode and want to animate this take this up here put a keyframe for the location move ahead and move it downward and then we can keyframe the location so we have this animated okay go to weight paint mode with our cloth selected and we can see that as the cube comes down it clears off the weight paint in that position so looking good nice goes and cuts the cloth open all right so you can see that our cloth is clipping through itself to solve that you are going to go to your cloth settings so remember don't forget this you have to put the vertex weight proximity above the cloth simulation unless it won't work so go back to your physics and then once you turn on collision you can increase the collision quality and turn on self collision so that the cloth doesn't just glitch through itself now our distance is too high reduce this collision distance very well even lower than that will be fine all right nice so then you know we we'll have to shade this smooth and apply a subdivision surface so modifiers add modif add modifiers generate subdivision surface shade smooth the subdivision surface will be below and then advanced since we don't want this edge to be rounded change it from boundary smooth change it to keep corners so it keeps the edges sharp all right so there we have it we have our cloth cutting from the top downward now all you have to do is just add a knife at this position that will follow with the cloth or a zipper going downward all right i'm looking for a nice free knife I like this one, so can drag this into the scene. And then for the cloth, we can just add a cloth texture to it. So let's search for cloth. Okay. So we have our knife imported. Scale the knife, rotate it and position it. Okay. So you can take your time doing all that. Let's switch this to the material preview mode. You are obviously going to hide this cube in your viewport and your render. Now, because of the way we created this, you can actually bake the simulation. So if we go to our cloth, physics, catch, and we can bake all dynamics. 
So there you go. That's the only way to actually cut cloth in Blender that works. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.